Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. Please leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, help my channel grow. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a kind of dock system or auto automatic dock system. Now, this was asked by uh, Mr. Garrett Rivas. Revaez? <laughs> he asked me to build this a long time ago, and I did build it a while ago, but I completely forgot about it. So, let's pretend like this whole little area is like you're out at sea. So, all you have to do is just bring your boat right into the dock area, which is pretty much this whole entire area. Once you're in here, just click this button. The dock will pop up. You can thus get out of your boat and go walk up and do your own business. And then when you're ready to leave, just get in your boat, click this button. You'll then shoot out of the dock and you're on your way. And of course the boat's gonna break because it's too far. And I also put it in so it resets everything. So every time you come back, you don't have to click that button for it to close up. So let's just start building this thing right away. It's actually very simple to build. Now, I'm gonna be showing you a very large design for this. This one's actually pretty big. You could easily make this a three by three, so you use less uh, resources, but I'm making mine a six by six. So you're gonna need at least 37 sticky pistons, 19 repeaters, 36 redstone dust, 48 torches, two buttons, uh, three if you, uh, I only say two if you only wanna put one there and one there, but three if you wanna make it look like that. Uh, six dispensers, a handful of blocks to put your uh, redstone dust down on, 10 half slabs, six water buckets and a handful of your block of choice now like i said you don't need to make it this big so what you're going to do is once you're going to find like a section of your water you want to build this dock off of and then what you're going to do is pretty much just put a nice little line there to make sure that the water doesn't get in your way while you're building it and then also put a nice little line underneath it too so when you do decide to delete that line finally and we're going to dig down at least seven so one two three four five six and seven you're gonna have to dig down at least seven but before we dig down seven we're gonna find a nice six spacing so one two three four five six and we're just gonna come out right here and come down three so one two and three like that and then we're gonna make a six by six spacing so one two three four five six one two three four five six and then we're just gonna fill that in make ourselves a nice six by six spacing Next, what we're going to do is pretty much put our sticky pistons all along the bottom of these. This is where all those sticky pistons come into place. A six by six, six times six is 36. So 36 sticky pistons. And then we're going to take our block of choice, which is actually still my thing. And we're going to put that all over the tops of all the sticky pistons. And there we go. Now what we're going to do is come underneath the sticky pistons and we're going to delete the middle row. So delete this middle row. So it looks something like that. And then come over to this side and delete this middle row. And then what we're gonna do is just come down one and put that row back in. But while we're putting the row back in, just make sure you put the torches down. So one, two, three. And then we're gonna go down three more again and put three torches in yet again, like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So over a block, delete this block. So one, two, three. And one, two, three and come one two three and three more torches like that and then we're going to put three more torches off i mean uh six, all the torches onto the sides of them as well like this kind of got like jumbled with my words there couldn't think of what to say when you put torches down on a block next what we're going to do is come down one block underneath it all the way down to the most the most bottom part that i told you to dig out seven and we're going to do it on both sides and we're going to put torches all along these as well no, not there. All along here. And then what we're gonna do is put repeaters all along the outsides. And then we're gonna take our dust and bring it all the way down. And then right when we get to this block, we're gonna dig down this block and put a repeater here. Set to one tick delay, just dig this out again. And on this side, do the same thing. Put a repeater here on one tick delay right below that block and put dust up and around with repeaters going into all of the blocks. There we go. So now if I uh, put, uh, redstone right here and i put a button right here and click that as you can see it goes up and it goes down beautiful next what we're going to do is fill in some more water so what we're going to do is just take our block of choice and go around the outside of the block of choices that are down with the sticky pistons and then take another block of choice and we're going to bring that around the outside yet again next what we're going to do is just take out a lever and we're gonna, we wanna extend this and keep it up for just now. So just take a lever out, come over here and extend, make sure your pistons are extended up. And while they are extended up, we are going to take out a water 
take out one of our six water buckets you might have to keep going back and refilling if you're doing it on survival i'm just going to make a nice little outline of water all the way around the edges until it's completely filled up there we go and then we're just going to delete this block of course this green block we could turn into a white block so it matches and delete this block as well and do the same thing on this side green block turn it into a white block there we go oh no <laughs> watch out with the water yes the water can sometimes be stupid and ruin everything but if you're building this with a um if you're digging this out you won't shouldn't have this problem really so there we go i fixed that up right there so now it looks something like that and this is where we're going to take out our half slabs and we're just going to fill up the sides with our half slabs so fill up our sides to there and do the same thing on this side fill up our sides with half slabs and then right over this part, we're going to put a uh, white wool right here. And we're going to take our dispensers and put our dispensers right here. And apparently the sun's going down. So I'm going to go sleep it off. Be right back. All right, so now that we got our dispensers in, we can go ahead and put our water buckets in them. So just go between, go into each dispenser and put your water bucket in each one. Like so. There we go. Uh, and one, two, and last one. Beautiful. Then we're going to take out our block of choice yet again. And we're going to put our block of choice right up along the tops of all of them. And then we're going to put redstone dust along the whole top. And then this is where I said you don't need two buttons. I just like to do it because since it's an even number, I want to keep it even. If you do an odd number, if you only do three, then you're only going to need one button. And it'll look just fine enough. And then what we're going to do is just put a block up and we're going to come out one and bring it over. The only reason I do this is if you know in most of my builds, I hate when the redstone shows. If you don't care if that redstone shows and you don't have to do this right here, but I hate it. So I do it. <laughs> And next, what we're going to do is put our no another button right there. And off the backhand side of it, right here, we're going to put a repeater with a block on top, a block down. Actually, let's leave it like that for now. Let's leave it like this for now. Because we're going to have to come back there again. What we're going to do now is just delete all these boxes that are right behind the dispensers. I only put them there so we can put our dispensers in. Next, we're just going to find a spot on... Uh, we're going to find right here in the middle where the even number is. And we're going to put a repeater here, set it to one tick the leg. Next, what we're going to do is put a block in front of it, a block over, another repeater right here, set it to four ticks delay, put a block in front of that, a block down, put a piece of dust right there, and then we're just going to come right underneath and bring the uh, block all the way back this way. And where the dust is, we're going to put our repeater going back this way, set to four ticks delay, and another one right here, set to four ticks delay. And then off this block right down here, we're going to come over one, put some dust on this block, and another repeater right here, set it to four ticks delay. Next, where both the four tick delay repeaters are going into this white block, we're going to put dust here, dust here, and a block here, and a block there. So that will activate all the dispensers at the same exact time. Next, off this side over here where I said don't put that block, we're going to put another repeater here, set it to one tick delay. We're going to put a block now over it like that, put dust on this side, and then we're going to put another block down and put dust on this side. And we're just going to bring it over to here, and right here... <laughs> right here where the uh ah delete that one we don't need that right here where this uh repeater has the dust going into it we're gonna put our last and final sticky piston facing downwards with a block on it and then we're gonna come down two more blocks so one two delete these two put a torch here put a block up from the torch with dust on top of it bring that dust all bring this all the way over here with dust on all of it next what we're going to do is just come a block Put a torch on any part of this dust. Doesn't really matter. Any part of this dust. And then we're going to come a block down. You know what? This is my old way of doing it. I don't know why I'm doing this. We're going to put just two out like this. Then put a torch. Then put a block down off to the side with dust on it. Put a block over. Put a repeater here. Set it to three ticks delay. Put a put a uh, dust down in front of both of them like so. And then we're going to put a torch back here. This torch should go off. That will be our monostable uh, mono circuit. Then we're going to dig down a block. Put a sticky piston right there. Oh, wait. So we need 38 sticky pistons. Sorry, I forgot about that one. So we need 38 sticky pistons. We're going to put a block in front of the sticky piston. Dig down one more and put a torch right there. There we go. So then your monostable circuit, always come down at least one or else it will stay activated. Watch, if I put one right here, it'll stay activated. You don't want it to do that. So make sure you come down an extra one, put a block in front of it, then have the torch right down here in this hole. So when this block extends over the torch, it will thus activate everything. So there we go. So now if I, uh, well, now I could actually delete this line. This line doesn't need to be here anymore. So we could delete that. And if I could delete this green wall, I'm pretty sure the water will fall through and delete everything. So I got to do this quickly. So boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom, and boom. There we go. So there we go. That's pretty much it. That's the whole dock system. So I click this button. Hey, click this button. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, I'm like, what? <laughs> click it again. Let's see. Yep, good. So if I click this button, it picks up the dock. And then when you're ready to leave, you click this button, lets the water out, and it closes it. So there you guys go. That's how you build a very easy dock system. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.